Welcome back to Tag Happy Tips. Today we're in DaVinci Resolve and I'll be showing you how to either stretch or shorten an audio clip. This is also known as the elastic wave. Let's jump right on in. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve and I've got a bit of a dummy timeline up with one clip. This is recorded from the Quest 2. The Quest 2 is notoriously bad at recording content, okay? Uh, it, it, the footages can be off, the audio wave, um, the audio is usually a few frames too short um, and it makes it a bit of a mission trying to edit it. If you come across this for the first time, it really does throw you, but after a while, you know how to handle it. Okay, step one that we're going to do today is going to show you how to do the elastic form. Step two is I'm going to show you how to then plug it into a bit of a workflow. So step one is we're going to go into uh, Fairlight and we're going to find the waveform that we're going to be working with. There it is. Effectively, it's the only one on my timeline. And I want to zoom in towards the end here. If we go right click, we can effectively go elastic wave and it will turn it on. Just so you know, no, I've just turned it off. But let's turn that back on. Uh, right click, elastic waveform to turn on and you kind of get this black line moving across the top here. Now to kind of adjust by lengthening or shortening this waveform, two ways. Step one is you can move your cursor to the end of the waveform. Okay, not to confuse it with the, um, the symbol that allows you to just to kind of shorten, cut, shorten, trim uh, the clip. Whereas the other one here is the kind of the way the elastic waveform um, tool. Now once that pops up and you click and drag left and right, you can either shorten or lengthen that waveform, okay? Let's just get that back to where we want to get it. The other way would be to do a controller command click anywhere you want, uh, boom. Boom, we can do a few of these, boom. And it creates little green lines and these green lines are little keyframes, okay? And these keyframes act as little points that you can then adjust from. So if we go across to this middle one here, you get the two arrows that pop up left and right. If I drag it over to the right, you can see that the audio between that middle keyframe and the right keyframe is shortening, it's compressing, okay? It would effectively, you know, uh, rattle through that content much faster, whereas all, all that audio waveform off to the left is slowing down, okay, Sp uh, spreading out. And likewise, if we do it the opposite direction, it kind of reverses. Now, if we use the one at the end here, it goes from the beginning of the clip to that keyframe. And once again, everything to the left is dragging, expanding, everything to the right is kind of shrinking and shortening. Okay, to get rid of these is as simple as right click, remove speed keyframe. Uh, if you want to get rid of all of them, right click and then look for reset speed curve and that kind of takes the clip back to where you want to get to it. Okay, so that's how you got to do that. Now let's plug that into a bit of a workflow. So I'm going to go back to the editing tab here. I'm going to bring down a second clip onto the timeline. Uh, zoom in a little bit down here. Kind of get it to where I want it to get to. Let me kind of shrink, 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 shrink this clip. And uh, oh, let's move that across as well. Make it a tad bigger. There we go, and let's zoom in a fraction. Now I'm going to just manually align these up. Because if I did auto align on this via waveform, it would do a good job, it does a great job. However, because one clip, the Quest clip, is shorter its waveform than the, uh, the audio clip from a mirrorless camera, um, it's not gonna do you know, the perfect job. So you still need to go in there and manually adjust it, just so you know. So I'm gonna line that up, I'm gonna zoom in, and I'm going to just listen, okay? We don't focus on the video, we're just gonna to listen to the audio and make sure we're not getting an echo. Bah. Terrible echo. Okay, I'm gonna move it one frame to the right. Bah. 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 You can see what the difference one frame makes, correct? Shift Z, zoom out, go to the end of the timeline, Shift Z, zoom in, and you can see that the quest is literally one or two frames shorter by the time you get to the end of this in a 15, 30 minute recording uh, than the one out of the mirrorless camera. And that's because the quest is just terribly bad. Let's play and listen to the echo. Okay, terrible. So, I'm gonna go back into Fairlight. Got the quest clip here at the top. I'm gonna zoom in just a fraction. Okay, and I'm just gonna focus on this fourth tap here. Okay, and we've got a bit of a, 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 um, a dot, and then we've got a bit of a dash. I'm gonna kinda go in between those two. Okay, and I know the elastic wave is turned on because it says it here, and we've got the black line. So I'm just gonna go uh, Control or Command click to 
create the little green keyframe, move my playhead to kind of where I think I need to sync it to, bring that across, and let's hit play. Let's just zoom out a little bit. Done. Bring it back here. Cool. There is still a bit of an echo there, so I'm going to zoom in just a bit more, and I'm just going to Oh, let's go to the keyframe. Couple of notches. Couple of notches. One more notch. That's looking pretty or looking, that's sounding pretty damn good. So I'm going to zoom out. Okay, I'm happy with that. It's a fraction out, okay, but I'm happy with that, okay? Go back to the editing timeline. So we've now got the audio sorted, and Shift Z to zoom right out. Go back to the beginning here, Shift Z to zoom back in. Uh, I was going to change that fraction here, and now we're going to look at the video. Okay, we can definitely see that the video is out of sync. <laughs> like how annoying, right? Thanks, Quest Two. So I'm going to click on the the uh, the Quest Two recording here. Right click, unlink the clips. Okay. And I'm just going to scroll left and right on the timeline until I see the first digital gloves come together. Use the keyframe, uh, the arrows on my keyboard to keyframe. And I'm just looking for where I think they really kind of come together, okay? And I'm going to put a, a marker there, okay? I'm now going to move the keyframe forward and look at the video of me actually playing. Boom, that looks about right. Back down to the gameplay footage. And I do have snapping turned on, which is this little doodaki here. I dragged it to the right, and it's effectively uh, that marker has the line with the playhead. Let's go back and hit play. Looking good. Shift out, shift Z out to the end, shift Z in. Play. Now the audio is still marginally out, okay? However, if I kind of get rid of that track, uh, the good quality track, and now just use the Quest one, it looks pretty legit, okay? There we go, I'm at Tag Happy Tips. That was the elastic wave on how to either shorten or lengthen an audio waveform, as well as a little micro workflow and how you kind of bring that all together. Any questions, uh, put them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time.